Hey, what's up everybody? Andre, Andre Reese.biz. I don't only do taxes, I do a whole bunch of other stuff. Man, oh man, oh man. It's down here in uh, Brentwood, California. I sold my house out here. I live next door in the city of Antioch, but uh, I'm telling you, man, it is uh, blowing up out here. Check this out. There's a protest that's going on in front of, uh, I don't know what else to call it, but the Trump house. So uh, let me just say this. This particular house here, and I'll walk by and I'll show you guys. I'll stop up here for a second. This particular house, as I've probably been noticing probably since the early part of this year, January, that it kind of started out small. They would post, they had like little posters outside that said Trump 2020. You know, then they started to, uh, you know, put flags and they had uh, people that would come and vandalize and they put up closed circuit uh, televisions you know, our, our cameras, I would say, and it did, the display just kept getting bigger and bigger, bolder and bolder. And then so what he finally did, I guess uh, yesterday, was he crossed the line and uh, he hung up a mannequin and actually hung it from his house. And on the mannequin, he put, uh, you know, Sleepy Joe and in parentheses, a cheater. So you know, the neighbors were in outrage about it and they called the police the district attorney got involved and they said that he had every right to do it, you know, because of uh, his First Amendment rights. But I mean, more and more people have been showing up. The news is here now. And uh, I'll kind of show you guys what's happening here. So I'll go ahead and walk down a little bit. You know, so the news is here now. The guy ended up taking the mannequin down. And uh, I guess in the end, what's going to happen is uh, the district attorney and the local police department here will go ahead and. Uh, you know, transfer the police report over to the uh, Secret Service because, you know, former vice president running for the president of the United States, you know, that may potentially be some type of criminal activity. You know, we'll see what happens. But I'll walk you guys here past, uh, you know, the house. And a lot of people are showing up now. They're protesting. The news is here. The police are here also, too. They're going door to door to door. You know, some of the surrounding areas here they're knocking on the doors letting people know that as more and more people find out about this it's going to get out of control and here's what the house looks like so actually on this end here was where the mannequin of joe biden was you know hanging from you know so you can see the flags are here trump signs you see the people over there. there's the news you know fuck trump black lives matter all that kind of stuff and uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. More and more people are showing up, you know? And so, and I'll tell you, as soon as I saw the article today on uh, on the local uh, Facebook page, you know, and they said that there was a mannequin of Joe Biden that was hanging up. I knew it was this house over here, you know? And, and I'll tell you what, I drive by this house probably at least you know, I would say three times a week because the police station is down there where my office is. You know, this is probably about an hour, about a mile from my office. And then the post office is actually down that way about a mile or so, two miles or so. See, it's kind of getting a little bit crazy out here. People are honking the horns, etc. You know, so all I got to say is, you know, this is supposed to be Brentwood, California, you know? A nice peaceful suburb we're right here in the bay area and uh you know the, the lesson from this is you, you guys gotta always be careful what type of uh train so to speak you decide to jump on you know this stuff started out very very small like it always does it kept getting bigger and bigger growing getting bigger bigger and bigger and it got to the point where homeboy crossed the line with the mannequin so now he's gonna probably get a, you know, knock on the door pretty soon from the Secret Service for what he did, you know, but now the entire community out here is an outrage, you know, and like I said, this just happened today. And as the word gets out, more and more and more people will be here. So I figured I'd just go ahead. I was actually dropping some postage, packages off at the post office right now. I figured I would go ahead and drive through here real quick just to see what was going on. I knew it was gonna be all bad, you know, cause uh, I saw a couple of videos from earlier today, but uh, people are not happy. This guy right here has identified himself. And, uh, you know, I just uh, hope that he's ready for, to experience the impact of 
the decisions that he made. You know, it looks like I saw, his, I've seen his car outside before, it's gone. But everybody knows he's here now. And so I don't think people are gonna be will, so willing to uh, have something like this in their neighborhood, you know, so. And uh, like I said, you know, the police are out here and the news is out here. You know, people are playing music. They're hawking their horns, etc. you know. And I'll just go ahead and just walk past one last time and I'll actually walk by the people here. But I want to, you know, kind of show you guys. Like I said, the, the main thing we're talking about here is you guys gotta be careful as far as what you decide to do and whatever type of train you decide you wanna pop on, you know. So I'll walk here one last time. And, uh, you know, there's nobody here right now to help the guy to support him. He got these people out here all on his own. And uh, this don't get worse, like I said, you know. So I know right now with the election, we are getting close to finding out what the answer is. You know, a lot of the, uh, there we go, see, right there, yeah. A lot of support out here, Black Lives Matter. Got the media out here sending uh, stories, etc. I know it's just a matter of time before my mom calls me and says, Andre, what's going on out there at Brentwood? And I'm gonna be like, Mom, hey, race for impact. This is just the start of what's about to happen. So I'm walking back to my car right now. I'm gonna get out of here. And uh, I gotta actually go down to uh, Target real quick. And uh, do a few returns. I gotta run over to Wally World also too. And uh, do a few returns over there. But uh, like I said, guys, we're getting into the final few hours here of uh, the election countdown. And I know a lot of people are not gonna be happy with the way things seem to be kind of trending right now. You know, so uh, just be careful in everything that you do. Be safe, be vigilant. And uh, always be mindful of what you decide to do because in the end, those guys are waving right there at me. In the end, you're the one that's gonna have to carry the full weight of your decisions. You know, so take care guys. We'll be back in touch. And uh, I didn't expect to make this video, but uh, I'll go ahead and get it, get it edited real quick and get it up. So take care guys, we'll be in touch. Guys, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Visit me directly at andrereese.biz. Four things to do, like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay safe, guys. Lift the glass to freedom. Stay woke and don't get TikTok. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video.